Forced from one rented location to another, a fluid yet committed group of Worcester community activists and artists said, enough, we need a permanent home. Their dreams became a reality in December of 2006 when they pooled resources and purchased a building that had been vacant for several years, previously a tutoring center and teacher supply store. Dozens of groups soon made this centrally located space their home, and named after the fabled stone soup, each brought their piece of a wonderful shared magical meal. The soup's ingredients already existed in the community. Walking through the space on any one day, you might see a group of artists working on a giant homemade printing press or t-shirt machine, a gaggle of kids rehearsing their student-written play or meeting to discuss their own curriculum, a mountain of bikes being made useful for anyone wanting to volunteer and earn a free bike or share mechanical skills. Todo el mundo corre bicicleta. Come visit the Earn a Bike Program. You might see a team of urban youth producing a video about the environmental justice movement in Worcester. Ex-prisoners getting organized to change the unjust criminal record law and start a cooperative business. It is our job and our duty to create resources and build opportunity to unlock the hidden potential that is found that is lost in so many people. An anti-war poster and puppet making session. kitchen busy with Food Not Bombs volunteers, neighbors using the computer lab and library, a Spanish open mic tertulia, or a union meeting. Cross-pollination became natural, even inevitable between the member groups, together organizing successful peace and justice marches and block parties. No thick bureaucracies. No more no trespassing signs. No central authority, just a membership-driven collection of people taking action to lay the foundation of a new world, one that fits our many cultures, worlds, dreams. And like here, it was like my workplace, but then they had a library downstairs and I love to read, so it was like my leisure place and then they had computers. And I had a key to all of this, like it was just like a whole new like adventure to me just to like come in the swimsuit. Soon. I was just always here. Stone Soup was just, was just my place, you know? Like, Worcester doesn't have that many places for kids to like just go hang out. Then, late in the evening of March 26th, 2009, while no one was in the building, a devastating fire struck Stone Soup. The three alarm blaze caused heavy fire, water, and smoke damage to almost the entire building, displacing the member groups until major renovations are done. It just it hurts really bad to see like a place that's so beautiful, that, that home so many like ideas, so many different like I don't even know, it's just it's crazy how this could happen to such a beautiful place. Community support poured in with hundreds of volunteers and partner agencies showing solidarity, salvaging the contents, and cleaning up the shattered glass and damaged visions. A late night crew of skilled graffiti artists livened up the boarded up windows with a message to all who love stone soup. Our dreams cannot be burnt to the ground. Out of these ashes, we rise.
plus a couple extra inches of drywall so it can't be Stone Soup needs your help to rebuild and become an even stronger force for community and social justice. Your skilled hands we will put to work. Your monetary support we are relying on to make this all possible. Contact us or visit stonesoupworcester.org to make a donation or to get involved. Checks can still be mailed to Stone Soup at 4 King Street, Worcester, Massachusetts, 01610.